what Kyle Shanahan said was he never called it a quarterback camp competition, which was the right thing to do. You got to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. No one buys what you're saying, Kyle, but he said the right thing. He did say he can't help but say some truth along with the lies he has to say. I'm not saying sure. fibs he has to say. And the truth yeah. was Lance will be ready when everyone knows it. I won't have to make a decision, essentially. It'll just be obvious to everyone, the coaches, the players, the media. Well, it's obvious to everyone right now. Yeah. And, then, and and he still hasn't really played with the starters. But you listen to – Drake Greenlaw said, uh, best Army's ever seen, hands down. I asked DJ Jones today, I said, when you're on the sideline, are you, like, talking about – talking to your, your teammates, the D linemen, about the previous series? Are you watching Trey Lance? He's like, I'm watching Trey Lance. Everyone's watching Trey Lance. He's special. And then you talk to uh, – D'Amico Ryans, what do yeah. you see from Trey Lance? He can make all the throws, not just the long ones, but the quick stuff too. And you talk to Mike McDaniel, he goes on and on about how prepared he is and how much he improves and how hard he works. What does he that called him a quarterback on the field today. Right. Where? How long has he had the playbook? Five months at this point. He's had the playbook roughly five months. Four months, actually. Four months, yeah. Four three, months. Actually, closer three. to three months, yeah, really, if you think about end it. Of, end of, yeah. of April, right? Yeah. So we were told that it takes two years to really get this offense down. We're three months into this thing. And it sounds to me like he knows the offense better than the incumbent starter is supposed to. Right? Like they're talking about how Jimmy's making all this strides. This is the best training camp he's had. And all of these other things, which can also be true. By the way, both yeah. of these things can be true. Yeah. But if he knows it this well and he's already putting people in the right place on the field and being that coach on the field, what can this kid not do? It's absolutely incredible. And I think it's interesting just how freely everyone's talking about how good he is. The first couple of days, it was like, man, don't talk about it. That's, it seemed like that was the, the attitude in the organization. Like, yeah, OK, but, you know, it doesn't help our cause with Jimmy and he's still just a rookie. We let's let, let's make him earn it, which is which yeah. is a good approach. Yeah, for sure. Don't get his head uh, too big, and the pads haven't gone on. Okay, well I've done it for seven days. He does it every day, and when he does what he does, it's it's like oh my god, like that's that's all. <laughs> he's my teammate. Oh my god, this is, <laughs> he's gonna make me so much money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Every he's gonna make us all champions. He's gonna make us. He's gonna improve. He's gonna improve all their careers. That's what yeah. they're looking at. Like wow, wow, and it's. It's a lot of fun to see. I, I mean, Matt I Mayoko think, was on Cam BR uh, gushing. I mean, I mean, Stevie Wonder would be gushing if he was there. It's <laughs> it's plain as day. Yeah, it's yeah. You know, here's the other thing too: is there's a feeling with this stuff too. It's not just watching, but there's there's a feeling. And let me ask you this: do you do you get a feeling that when Lance is on the field, that the vibe or the energy just picks up around you? Yes. Absolutely. That's, I mean, yes. that's, that's just, and like, how many quarterbacks in the, in the world have that effect? Not many. Eight, seven. Not, yeah. Maybe six. Maybe. Yep. Maybe yep. five. Yeah. Yeah. I never so, expected to see this, man. Like in my life, I've just been resigned to watching Alex Smith and Colin Kaepernick and Jimmy Garoppolo. And it's like, yeah, you have some good days, man. That's cool. But like, you know, I mean, no one would pay big money to watch you practice. All of a sudden, they're spending, they're paying, they're charging five bucks to come watch Niners practice. They could probably charge pay-per-view. They probably could. Yeah. They probably could. Let me ask you this. Do you think it's more of a risk for Shanahan at this point? Because I feel like Shanahan is the only one that's downplaying this. Every time he gets on the podium, it's always... Even to the point where they that article came out from Peter King about how Trey Lance had logged the most time on his iPad studying the playbook. And... He, yeah. and what did he say? Well, I mean, you know, I know how technology works. He could have just put on a movie and let it play. And maybe that's how he got the most time. It's like, so he's the only one that's downplaying him at this point. Kittle too. Today, yeah. Kittle. I was yeah. like, really, dude? Like, really? I don't know what that was about. Maybe it's the same thing, but yeah, Kittle. Maybe he's just boys with Jimmy. Yeah, could be. Kittle. But does Shanahan risk... Okay. Losing Everybody talks room? about him losing the locker room. Okay. If he plays 
Trey too early or just hands the keys to Trey too early. But doesn't he also risk losing the locker room? And isn't this possibly worse if everybody on that roster knows that Trey's the guy yep. and he plays Jimmy anyways? Yep. This can go both ways. I, At what point do you risk losing the locker room the other way? And I'm not saying he has to make a decision now, but if he goes with Garoppolo and everybody who's seen Trey, everybody, including us who are not able to be there because we live across the country, we see him during the preseason and we're like, oh my gosh, this kid is different. If everybody sees it and you still start Jimmy G, at what point do you risk losing the locker room that way? And what is what is the bigger risk in your opinion? I mean, it's hard to say. They're both risks. They're equal risks. And that's why it's such a tough call for Kyle Shanahan. It's not as simple as, well, just start Jimmy. Uh, no one can fault me for that. Yeah. Oh, yes, they can. Yeah. If the whole team thinks Trey Lance is better and you go with Jimmy week one and you lose, that's unacceptable. You can't, you just gave away a game because you didn't play the person who gives you the best chance to win. So I think that there is a very real chance that Trey Lance will start week one. He seems like he's winning over everyone. When you got Matt Mayoko going on Cam BR gushing, saying this guy is clearly the best quarterback on yep. the team. I mean, he wouldn't say that if he didn't feel, if he felt that the team didn't want him to. I, I don't mean to sit, talk that way about Matt. Matt's an OG. He's the best. I'm just saying he knows he has the best feel for the pulse of the Niners organization in the world. And if he's saying he's the best quarterback on the team, that's what I'm saying. That's what I've seen. But if he's saying it, that's means that means that's what the Niners are seeing too. Again, everyone can see it. It's not hard to see. Yeah, of course. You don't be an expert. You know, if no, you freaking, de you definitely like, don't. Jimmy, you kind of have to be a football savant. Like, ooh, 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 that was third and seven. That was a mm -hmm. nice little throw. It was a quick run. It, I mean, with Trey Lance, it's like, damn, like a, a three-year-old could watch yeah. it and be like, wow. It doesn't, yeah. it's just one of those things. It's like some quarterbacks win you over with nuances and just little things that put you together. He can do that too, which is really cool. He can do yeah. that too, but uh, that's not the reason why he's on the team. Well, it's part of it. Double B Studio says, "Is Trey going to make the Niners cut Jimmy instead?" Nah, this doesn't make doesn't mean that Jimmy sucks. Jimmy's a starting quarterback in the NFL. That usually is worth a, a third, a third round pick. But uh, he's also very expensive. The Niners probably have to pick up some of that money to get the pick that they want. I think they will. Don't they're gonna trade him? They're gonna trade him. They just it, it you know it's a, it's a deadline business. I think they'll trade him. They better trade him. I had a call in show yesterday, and Bay brought up a really good point. Bay Area Baller eighteen, go check him out. But he said, he said, would you trade Jimmy for a second if you had to eat half his salary? And I said yes, absolutely, in a heartbeat. I would too. Because he the, says the, that he wouldn't because mm. he thinks that carryover money is way more important than that second. Than the round pick. pick. Yeah, I think I think the Niners have are, are more hard pressed for picks than, than money. You can always create cap space. How are you going to get that pick? That's true. That's I don't true. know. Like, I mean, I I wouldn't dismiss anything Barry Baller says. No, me smart. neither. No, I, it, it was a compelling yeah. argument. I hadn't thought about it. For me, it was a no brainer. You take that second round pick, but it is you know it's something worth talking about. Definitely. Jay says, Grant, uh, great seeing you on Friday on camp. Yeah, great to see you too. If you were putting your own money on the line, when do you think Trey starts? I already did this. I bet a fifty dollar bottle of wine with my dad that he starts week one. <laughs> And I feel pretty good about it because yeah. he's way better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. And not starting him week one would just be a bad decision. So I don't know what Kyle's going to do, but I'm trying my best to win that yeah, bottom absolutely. line. Ken Kenyon says, since Trey will be taking the number one spot, what will be an acceptable record for him to be considered a successful acquisition at? And where and how we got him? Ooh, that that's that's a 10-year question. He has to be – for him to justify the trade-up, he'll have to get the second contract and go to Pro Bowls and go to Super Bowls. Um, but, uh, so that's a different question. That's a whole different, it's not, he, he can't prove that right in one year. Yeah, absolutely. Go, go back to that. I think, I don't think you actually read that Pluffy Phil a couple back. Oh, good. I think oh, you had it up. We Remember Russell about. Wilson's rookie season. The Seahawks gave big money to Matt Flynn, but Wilson went in and took it. When you got it, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been saying it was going to go like that. I literally had a DM today. Somebody asked me on Twitter. They said, you know, what do you think about the situation? Is it comparable to the Kansas City Chiefs situation? I said, no, it's actually more comparable. No, he asked me about the Washington situation. I said, no, it's actually very comparable to what happened with Russell Wilson and Matt Flynn. Because if you go back and I was reading articles from that year, just the other day, everybody under the sun said it's Matt Flynn's job. There's no way Russell can win it. And then Russell won it. And the way that he played is really how I expect Trey to play. 
his rookie year. So I think that scenario and that point is a very good one because that's the one that's resembles this one most similarly, in my opinion.